Okay, this is problem number six. It says solve for the angles of the triangle with the given side lengths of A equals 10, B equals 7, and C equals 5. So when we're given all of the sides of a triangle and we need to find the angles, we're going to use the law of cosines. And I've outlined it in the green box. And all we need to do is we need to plug in our values for A, B, and C uh, to find each of the angles. So we're going to start with finding alpha. And we need to plug in A for A, B for B, and C for C into the first equation. So we have 10 squared equals 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times our B. Our B is 7 and then times C which is 5. All that times cosine of alpha. By doing algebra, we want to get cosine of alpha by itself. We can simplify this to be um, 26 equals negative 70 times cosine of alpha. So we divide by negative 70 and we're left with negative 26 divided by 70 equals cosine of alpha and if we take the inverse cosine of both sides we find what alpha equals And alpha will equal 118.8 degrees. Now we need to do the same thing to find beta. And so we plug in B. So 7 squared equals a squared, which is 10, plus c squared, which is 5, minus 2 times a times, sorry, a times c. times cosine beta. When we simplify this, we find it negative 76 equals negative 100 times cosine of beta. So we divide by negative 100 on both sides. And we're left with 76 divided by 100 equals cosine of beta. Again, we take the inverse cosine of both sides and we find that beta equals roughly... 40.5 degrees. The same steps are to be used to find what gamma is. Uh, we plug in C, C squared, so 5 squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2AB times cosine gamma. When simplifying we find that this equation is negative 124 equals negative 140 times cosine of beta, gamma, sorry. Solving for gamma divided by negative 140 on both sides, so 124 divided by 140 equals cosine gamma. Taking the inverse cosine of both sides, we find that gamma is roughly 27.7 degrees. And there are all three angles of the triangle.